The evolution of YouTube over the last 10 years has seen many genres educating and entertaining millions of viewers each day. But as people begin to like a certain piece of content, creators can become comfy within their creative mindset. This opens the door for a new, modern and refreshing new face with ideas that can change the game and entertain people in a new kind of way. It was the year 2000, and in a very special year, Tammy and Gerald Clark gave birth to their baby boy, Garrett. The Kansas City sports scene was starting to gain a lot of popularity, and with the Royals hitting home runs for fun, it wasn't long before Garrett was taking up his first sport. As far back as he can remember, Garrett was playing catch with his dad and cracking baseballs in the minor leagues. The commitment was there, but the love was fizzling out. After starting elementary school and realizing most of his friends were playing soccer, his energetic personality and naturally athletic stature was perfect for the sport. His desire to run and his love for tricks and taking a man on were clearly in his blood. Coming from a city ranked number one for soccer for many years, he was always going to find himself in a team. Growing up in a world where technology was improving each year, and the availability for consumers was by far the most accessible it has ever been. Garrett found himself in possession of the family camera. His love for filming was the curiosity of the equipment and the birth of his frontal cortex. He'd film random things around the family home and create little projects for his mum and dad to watch. Through middle school, Garrett's ability to hold down a hobby proved testing once again. He quit soccer and was now seriously wondering what sport was next. One sport he knew he didn't want to try was golf, an old man's sport which he despised, going as far as saying it wasn't even a sport. But one day when the kids from next door said they were heading down to the local golf course, Garrett immediately had his back up against the wall and was adamant he wasn't going. But after constant nagging and the fact he literally had nothing else to do, he accepted. The local track was a six hole par three course. Garrett and his neighbor went head to head and finished 25 shots apiece tying the round. Still thinking the game was stupid, Garrett was ready to walk home. His neighbor said, what are you doing? We need to play a playoff hole. Garrett's competitive instinct got the better of him and the two headed back to the par three they just played. It was 80 yards and Garrett was up first. He pulled his seven iron from his bag and took a swing at it. It flew through the air, hit the edge of the bunker and went in. Everyone who he was with began running at him and jumping around like crazy. Garrett just stood there, not quite knowing the magnitude of what he had just done. Days went by and it was beginning to sink in what Garrett had done. He couldn't seem to shift the memory from replaying over and over again in his head. The joy it brought others around him, and every time he did think about it, it brought a smile to his face. He decided to go again, and that led to another time, and then again. Then he started practicing and researching and trying to get better. One day, Garrett walked over to his neighbors, knocked on the door and said, I've quit a lot of sports over the years, but I'm making a promise to you right now that I will never quit golf. And so the journey began with social media just popping off and every teen starting to use Instagram. Garrett and his cousin Mika created a joint page called GM Golf and began posting trick shots. At first, it was just for fun, showcasing their ability and having fun at the same time. But being first on the scene, things started to grow at a much faster rate than they first anticipated. With hundreds and thousands of views, the page was taken off. Seeing the potential and wanted to take things more seriously, Garrett asked his dad if he could build him a putting green in the back garden. From here, Garrett could spend more time on tedious trick shots that took a long time, but within the comfort of his own home. However, just as things were starting to take off, Mika decided he was going to move away just as they hit 32,000 followers to get married and live a life elsewhere. Now alone in GM golf names staying the same, Garrett was now left to do trick shots by himself. But it would be these types of trick shots that got him noticed by ESPN Sports Center and skyrocketed his growth overnight. After his newfound fame, Garrett knew he had to push harder than ever to ride the wave whilst it was still there. A childhood family friend he'd known since he was just a baby called Stephen began giving him a hand. Just like a young Garrett, Stephen played soccer and had never thought about playing golf. The two continued down the trick shot roads and the new followers just kept on coming. Through high school, Garrett's dad would film all of his rounds and upload them to YouTube after seeing Cal Phillips do the same. He'd also post his trick shots there, but his full attention was on the GM Golf Instagram. Now, although the rise had been fun and games thus far, Garrett still really wanted to play college golf at a high level. His dad had been back and forth with the USGA about keeping his amateur status. At 3K followers and as he was only showcasing his trick shot ability and not his golf ability, 
he could keep his amateur status. At around 13,000 followers, the USGA were back in touch and assured Garrett's father that he had not broken no rules and would still keep his amateur status going into college golf. The problem came, however, when things really started to take off. Garrett, although not making any money directly from Instagram, was now receiving free products from various companies and the USGA advised they speak to somebody from the NCAA. His dad was on the phone with the future of his son riding on these next few moments. The NCAA said his big companies like ESPN had all shared this content and technically made money from Garrett's public image. He would be ineligible to play golf at an NCAA level. However, if he deleted every single video from his Instagram and all of the TV outlets who shared his content deleted their videos too, only then would Garrett be allowed to compete. This all seemed extremely unfair and one which would evidently change the path of his whole career. Sitting down with his parents, Garrett decided he was going to go to community college. He would enroll into the Kansas City Community College, which was a five minute drive from his home. This meant Garrett could play college golf, get an education, and be home every night to make videos. Now being free to express himself on social media, Garrett decided to up his YouTube content and follow in the footsteps of his idols. In August 2018, Steve and Garrett would upload a video, Golf vs Soccer, Cross by Challenge. And from here, his content really started to mature. He began uploading pretty much daily, and the channel was doing really well. After just hitting 20k subs, you'd think Garrett would have been happy, but that just wasn't the case. Everything was just getting a little bit too much, and the stress of college and running a YouTube and Instagram was becoming far too stressful. For the second time in his life, Garrett had a choice to make, but this time, I think it was a little easier. After one year at college, Garrett said his goodbyes and was now fully committed to his YouTube journey. That split second decision turned out to be the greatest decision of them all. Garrett has gone on to play with some of the best golfers in the world and created some of the most watched golf YouTube videos on the internet. The channel now has over 182 million views and is now closing in on 1 million subs. There is no doubt that what Garrett is creating is soon going to take the top spot at the top of YouTube golf and pushing golf in the right direction by attracting new people. On top of all of that, Garrett and his friends have created another channel that has surpassed GM Golf. But if we're going to talk about that, I think that needs a video dedicated to itself.